This is the Day's Day with Mary Jane News and you're watching This Week in Weed. 2019 may just be the year that legal weed comes to the East Coast. New York, Rhode Island, New Jersey, and Connecticut are all considering legalizing pot, and now Pennsylvania is looking to get in on the game. Pennsylvania Representative Jake Wheatley Jr. just released a memo announcing a new cannabis bill that he is calling the most comprehensive legalization legislation to date. This bill would create a fully taxed and regulated adult use market and channel pot sales tax revenue into affordable housing and student debt forgiveness programs. State Senators Dalen Leach and Sharif Street are also working on their own version of an adult use bill, which they intend to file this year. Now, although it's still uncertain whether either bill has a shot at passing the state's Republican-dominated General Assembly, Governor Tom Wolf is at least down with legal weed. In a recent tweet, Wolf said that he thinks it's time for Pennsylvania to take a serious and honest look at recreational marijuana. On the other side of the country, social justice may be coming to thousands of Washington state residents who were busted for minor pot crimes before the state legalized adult use marijuana. Last week, Governor Jay Inslee announced the Marijuana Justice Initiative, a plan to offer online pardons to adults convicted for pot-related misdemeanors between 1998 and 2012. To qualify, the applicant must have only one marijuana possession conviction and otherwise have a clean criminal record. The new program only applies to people who have been convicted convicted by the state and not local authorities. The governor's office expects that around 3,500 people will be eligible to receive pardons under this new program. Applicants will be able to apply for pardons online and anyone that is granted a pardon will have their public criminal records cleared by the state police. In other news, a recent study has discovered that although fans of different genres of music obviously prefer different kinds of drugs, fans of every genre are united by their mutual love of marijuana. A team of researchers collected wastewater from several music festival sites in the Czech Republic and Slovakia and tested it for the presence of 26 different drugs. Now, I love how they call it wastewater. It's the perfect term to distract you from the fact that you're just like ladling up labfuls of poop and bomb. Anyways, the study found that fans of different genres of music had different drugs of choice. Now, dance music fans preferred ecstasy and cocaine, and metal fans love alcohol and cigarettes, and country fans chose Cody and ecstasy. Now, the only one I'm really surprised there are the country fans. I didn't know it, but <laughs> y'all like to party. But there was one drug that remained equally popular at each event regardless of the genre of music, and that was marijuana, which just goes to show that cannabis is a great way to bring different kinds of people together. This is a day late for Mary Jane News. As always, Godspeed and good weed.